Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm going to share a really quick video with a giraffe card. And yes, they do wear scarves. And the reason I know is because Impression Obsession made a stamp set where they have bow ties and ribbons and scarves so that they can dress up. How fun is that? There's some really fun sentiments in this as well, and I'm going to make a million of these because they were so much fun to color and so easy to do, and I want to decorate all the scarves. So I stamped the scarf first and then the, and masked that out, and then I stamped the giraffe, and then I did a half a sentiment on one side, half a sentiment on the other for the hold your head high. And then I'm just going to finish off the rest of the giraffe down below by mimicking those same kinds of shapes and using a Copic friendly pen, a Copic multiliner, because that's going to work with my Copic markers. Super easy to finish off that little extra bit. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to color a giraffe because goodness gracious, who doesn't need to color a fast giraffe card once in a while? This one can also be done without bows and scarves on it, but why would you? I mean, honestly, put bows and scarves on this sucker. I might have to do like a whole bunch of these just because I want to decorate all the scarves and put patterns on them and customize them for people and stuff and all the bow ties and the ribbons and everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm weird. I always liked paper dolls when I was a kid. And this kind of thing makes me think of paper dolls. <laughs> so I'm using a weird color to shade my yellow, V04. If you've taken the Copic Jumpstart class, you will know why. And I'll tell you a little bit of the why, which is that it's a complementary color. So it works as a shadow color. Now it has a purple tint to it right now, but when I go over it with my midtone color, which is a YR04 or a YR16 works as well, same basic color then all of that purple turns into a different kind of an orange. It's a little darker, happier orange color with a little more poof to the color. I just, I really like how these colors blend well together. And notice that I'm going right over the spots. I don't really care about the spots right now. I'm just focusing on getting the general shading for the whole image first and blending it all out with my Y17 so that it's all blended. And now I'm going to go in with an E19, which is my spots color. And I'm just going to color the spots. I'm not going to give the spots any extra shading. You can, and that would of course give them more dimension. But the fact that all of the spaces in between those spots are shaded and they go from light to darks is going to communicate a lot of the roundness of the image. So if you're going to put a pattern on something, color the basic shapes of it first and then do your pattern on top and it'll still look like it's got a bunch of depth to it. And of course, down here in the bottom, this E19 is going on top of a lot of that purple, so it looks much richer down in the bottom section than it does in the top section. So finishing out all of those little spots. And I was looking at this now and thinking, okay, the nose, not quite looking like what I wanted. I, I thought maybe a, a full dark nose on this one. I'm probably gonna color it a bunch more times and see which one I like better with a dark nose or a light nose. And then I'll put some warm grays into the ears so that I get a little bit of difference in color there. I don't know if they have dark ears on the inside. I probably should Google that and find out because some animals have dark on the inside of their ears and some have light. And I don't know about giraffes. I don't know well, them well enough, but I'm going to color the scarf green and that means this is going to count as a fall card because it's got orange and yellows and greens in it, right? <laughs> it can be sent any time of year, of course, and you can make the scarf match the person's favorite color. You can make it a birthday scarf. You can make it a Christmas scarf. You can put a Christmas scene behind it and make the whole thing look like the little giraffe is keeping warm out in the snow. You can put it in a spring scene. There are so many different things you can do with this giraffe. And I, can you tell I like him just a little bit? There's just something about the giraffe's face and those big old ears. And it's just a well-drawn giraffe. There's a lot of cutesy, weird drawn giraffes. This is a realistic one and I like that about it. So yeah, I'm obsessed and weird about realistic looking stamps when somebody does a really well-drawn one. That just makes me happy. So using a couple of different colors to color the folds on the, the fabric on the scarf. And then I'm going to just draw shapes in with my, my white Signo pen, just with a gel pen on top. 
and all of those layers of color. Remember I said before, if you do all your shading underneath, that stuff is going to come through a little bit, especially with the gel pen, it tends to soften into the Copic a little bit and absorb, it's actually absorbing some of the Copic ink into it. So it becomes like a, a lighter green as time goes on. But you can do all different kinds of patterns on that. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my gosh. You're gonna see a lot of giraffes on my Instagram for a while until I get over my obsession with this darling giraffe. <laughs> so he's got little fringes hanging off of his scarf. And when you spend time coloring an image like this, who needs to embellish it, right? Just glue it onto a card base and put it in the mail. I did embellish with a little glossy accents on the eyes because I couldn't resist that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna get over my fawning over this cute stamp and let you go. So if you wanna buy it, the link is in the doobly-doo. There's Copic classes here for you. There's more videos. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face and I will see you guys another time. And come check it out over on Instagram and see if I've done more with the giraffe or not.